The top three canned food to stockpile. Hey there, fellow preppers. When it comes to being prepared, food choices can make or break your long-term survival plan. And while the world of canned foods is vast, there are some clear champions that stand out in terms of nutrition, versatility, and shelf life. So if you're curious about which cans should dominate your stash, stick around. Let's dive into the top three must-haves for any serious prepper's pantry. Ready? Let's get into it. 1. Canned Beans Canned beans are an incredible asset for anyone looking to stockpile food for the long term. When you think of foods that are both nutritious and have a long shelf life, canned beans quickly come to mind. Their sealed containers protect the beans from external contaminants and, if stored in a cool, dry place, can last for several years. This makes them ideal for long-term food storage. What makes canned beans particularly valuable is their rich nutritional profile. These legumes are often referred to as a powerhouse of nutrients, and for good reason. They're an excellent source of both protein and fiber, which are essential for maintaining muscle health and digestive regularity, respectively. For individuals who might not have regular access to fresh meats, or for those who follow a vegetarian or even vegan diet, beans can serve as a primary source of protein. This ensures that even in challenging circumstances, one can still meet a good portion of their daily protein needs. But the nutritional benefits of beans don't end with protein and fiber. They also contain a variety of vitamins and minerals. Depending on the type of bean, you'll find that they can be a good source of iron, magnesium, potassium, and folate, among others. These nutrients play crucial roles in bodily functions ranging from oxygen transportation to muscle function and DNA synthesis. One of the advantages of canned beans is their versatility in the kitchen. You can incorporate them into an array of dishes. Whether you want to make a hearty bean soup for a cold day, a refreshing bean salad for a summer lunch, or simply have them as a flavorful side dish, beans have got you covered. And since they come pre-cooked, the preparation time is often reduced, which is a boon in situations where cooking resources might be limited. Furthermore, from a budget perspective, beans are a winner. Compared to other protein sources, they're often much more affordable. And when it comes to variety, the choices are vast. From the deep, rich flavors of kidney beans, the slightly sweet nuances of black beans, to the nutty taste of chickpeas, there's a type of bean to suit every palate. Now, when considering how much to stockpile for the long term, several factors come into play. You'll need to think about the number of people in your household, their dietary needs, and how long you anticipate needing the stockpile. As a general rule, for a family of four aiming to stockpile for six months, around 24 to 30 cans of assorted beans would be a good start given that they might consume a can every week. This would supplement other food sources they have on hand. However, this is a general guideline and individual needs may vary. 2. Canned Tomatoes Canned tomatoes, much like canned beans, have a storied place in pantries worldwide and for good reason. They bring a combination of practicality, taste, and nutritional value that is hard to find in many other canned goods. But let's break that down a bit further. Starting with their utility in cooking, canned tomatoes are a godsend. Their rich flavor and consistency can elevate many dishes. When fresh tomatoes aren't at hand, or when one desires a more concentrated tomato flavor, the canned variety is a perfect substitute. They effortlessly serve as a base for a myriad of culinary creations. You might find yourself using them for making a rustic pasta sauce, a spicy chili, a comforting soup, or even a flavorful curry. Their versatility extends across cuisines, making them an integral part of both Western and Eastern dishes. On the topic of nutrition, tomatoes are a treasure trove. They are notably rich in lycopene, a potent antioxidant that has been studied for its potential health benefits, which includes supporting heart health and offering protection against certain types of cancers. Alongside lycopene, tomatoes offer a good dose of vitamins A, C, and E, all essential for maintaining various bodily functions and supporting the immune system. Especially in times when fresh produce may be limited or unavailable, these vitamins can be invaluable. But of course, as with all things, there are considerations to be had. The acidity of tomatoes can pose a challenge in the context of canned goods. Over time, the acidic nature of tomatoes might interact with the can's lining, 
which in some cases can lead to a slightly metallic taste. It's also worth noting that some cans might be lined with materials that people are wary of, like BPA. However, many manufacturers are now producing BPA-free cans, which is a great alternative for those with concerns. Given these considerations, when stockpiling canned tomatoes, it might be a good idea to regularly rotate your stock to ensure that you're using older cans first and replacing them with newer ones. This practice can help in mitigating the prolonged effects of acidity on the can's lining. When pondering the question of how much to stockpile, it again boils down to individual or household consumption patterns. If a family frequently uses tomato-based dishes, having a can or two per week for the duration of the stockpile might be sensible. For instance, a family of four planning for six months could consider storing anywhere from 24 to 48 cans, depending on how central tomatoes are to their meals. 3. Canned fish Canned fish indeed holds a special place in the hierarchy of long-term food storage options. While often overshadowed by the more ubiquitous canned meats like chicken or beef, fish offers a unique combination of taste, convenience, and nutritional benefits. Let's dive a little deeper into the world of canned piscatorial delights. From the shores of the Pacific to the Mediterranean's coastal towns, fish has always been a staple. Its importance only magnifies when preserved in a can, ensuring that the bounties of the sea can be enjoyed even when far removed from the water. This long shelf life of canned fish can be a boon, especially in situations where access to fresh fish is constrained. The nutrient profile of canned fish is nothing short of impressive. As you rightly mentioned, the omega-3 fatty acids are the stars of the show. These polyunsaturated fatty acids are renowned for their potential benefits, including supporting cardiovascular health, reducing inflammation, and even aiding in cognitive functions. Consuming enough omega-3s is crucial because the human body can't produce them on its own, making dietary sources like fish even more valuable. But it doesn't stop at omega-3s. Fish like salmon and sardines are also rich in essential vitamins and minerals. Take vitamin D, for instance, often termed the sunshine vitamin. While many people rely on sun exposure to get their dose, there are limited dietary sources of this vitamin and fatty fish ranks high among them. This vitamin is vital for calcium absorption, supporting immune function, and even mood regulation. Then there's the mineral selenium, found abundantly in many fishes, which plays a pivotal role in thyroid function and acts as a potent antioxidant. Culinary-wise, canned fish can be a delightful ingredient to work with. Even though some might shy away from sardines or mackerel, considering them to be too fishy, they can be quite transformative when used correctly. They can jazz up a pasta dish, serve as the heart of a hearty sandwich, or be the protein-packed topping for a fresh salad. And for those who are not fond of strong flavors, Varieties like canned tuna or salmon can be more approachable, given their milder taste profiles. The preservation method for fish, especially when stored in olive oil or water, tends to retain the natural flavor quite effectively. This stands in contrast to certain canned meats, which might sometimes necessitate added seasonings or preparations to mask the metallic undertones that can arise from the canning process. When planning on stockpiling canned fish, it's essential to consider both variety and quantity. Given the myriad of health benefits, including fish in weekly meal plans is advisable. Depending on consumption habits, a household might consider setting aside several cans for each week planned for stockpiling. It's also beneficial to have an assortment. While salmon can be great for salads and sandwiches, sardines might be perfect for pizzas or pastas. All right, future preppers, or maybe you've been at this for a while, Here's the lowdown based on everything we've discussed. Prepping is not just about storing food. It's about making smart choices that ensure longevity, nutrition, and versatility in your supplies. The more adaptable and nutrient-rich your stockpile is, the better prepared you'll be. Prioritize nutrient density. Items like canned beans, tomatoes, and fish don't just fill space in your pantry. They fill nutritional gaps. Whether it's the protein and fiber from beans, the lycopene and vitamins from tomatoes, or the omega-3 fatty acids from fish, these items cater to multiple dietary needs, ensuring a balanced diet even in challenging times. 
Diversify your stockpile. Don't put all your eggs or beans in one basket. Stock up on a range of items to ensure you're equipped for a variety of culinary creations. Remember, taste and the joy of food matter, even in survival scenarios. Having a mix keeps meals interesting and morale high. Keep rotation in mind. A common mistake many preppers make is to set and forget their stockpile. Foods, even canned, have an expiration date. Regularly check, rotate, and consume your oldest stock while replenishing with fresh purchases. This practice not only ensures food safety, but also familiarizes you with your supplies and their uses. Educate yourself and stay updated. The prepping community is vast, with many seasoned experts sharing their experiences and tips. Engage in forums, read up on the latest research, and stay connected. Knowledge is your best ally. Plan for all members of your household. Don't forget dietary needs and preferences. If someone in your home is allergic to a particular food or follows a specific diet, plan accordingly. The goal is to have everyone healthy and content. Always stay ahead of the curve. Lastly, staying ahead isn't just about having the most supplies. It's about being the most informed and adaptable. As the world changes, so should your strategies. Adaptability is a key trait of successful preppers. As they say, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So prep wisely, stay informed, and remember, you're not just preparing for survival, but for thriving in any situation. Happy prepping. Remember, it's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Keep that pantry stocked, that knowledge sharp, and your spirits high. Here's to hoping you'll only ever dip into your stash for a surprise guest dinner and not an emergency.